Bah! Merry Christmas! Hello, Obadiah. Come on in. Did I hear you say Merry Christmas? It's not Christmas yet. Well, you wouldn't know it by looking at all the houses in the neighborhood. Almost everyone has Christmas lights on their houses and yards, just like you talked to me about last Sunday. Yes, I've seen that too. And through some of the windows, I've seen decorated Christmas trees in some people's homes. So doesn't that mean it's Christmas now? Well, not yet. As I've been saying for the last three weeks, we are still in the church season of Advent, and the word Advent means the arrival. So in this season, we're waiting for the arrival of something. Specifically, we're waiting for the arrival of Jesus. But I remember you saying that this will be the second time that Jesus has come. The first time was when he was born in Bethlehem, but the second time will be when he returns, as you said, from the clouds. Well, I'm not the first one to say that. That's what the angels told the followers of Jesus as they watched him ascend up into the heavens 40 days after he rose from the dead. They told them that one day his followers would see Jesus return in the same way that they saw him go. And we're still waiting for that, for him. That's right. But I don't like to wait. I want Jesus here right now. So do I, Obadiah. And if Jesus doesn't come back in the next four days, well, then we will celebrate Christmas. We'll encourage one another by remembering the first time that Jesus came, when he was born in Bethlehem, a baby from his mother Mary. She must have been a very special person. Yes, she was. She was favored by God. Look, I have some pictures here. Imagine how difficult it was for Mary to wait for Jesus to be born. So Mary must know how I feel. I would think that she would have a pretty good idea. So maybe there's something that I can learn from Mary. How did she do it? How was she able to wait for Jesus? Well, as many women know, as much as you would like that child inside of you to be born, that child will only arrive when the time is right. Mary needed to be patient and to trust God that when the time was right, Jesus would arrive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trust God that Jesus will arrive when the time is right. I think that would be great, Obadiah, but we never know exactly when that time will come. So we always need to be ready. Whatever else we may be doing, we always need to keep in mind that Jesus could arrive at any time. And when he does, that will be great for everybody, for the whole world. You're absolutely right. That's when the whole world will be changed for the better. Okay, I will trust God, but that makes me all the more excited. That's okay, Obadiah. I think we should be excited because that will be a great day for everybody. Is it time to light the fourth candle on the Advent wreath? I was just about to suggest that. Light four candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. He is coming, tell the glad tidings. Let your lights be shining.